What's up guys, Jake here with this week's episode of What's New TW. Got a bunch of great products as usual to show you. First one I wanna go over with you with is new Triton Mike Buka's Bull Gill Swim Bait. As you can see, large bluegill style swim bait. A lot of you guys don't have trout in your area. Out here in California, we're pretty fortunate to have trout stocking a lot of our lakes. So most swim baits have that trout profile, but if you're trying to mimic the bluegill in your area, I mean, this is a great bluegill imitation swim bait here. Premium paint jobs on it, already outfitted with EWG treble hooks and split, good split rings on it. So for you guys that don't have a lot of trout in your area, trying to get that bluegill profile, a lot different from most of the other swim baits out there, check out the new one from Trident Mics. All right, next up from Gancraft, we got their new Ripple Claw 178. As you see, the body looks just like the original Jointed Claw 178, but now it's got a bill up here on the front. And this is the floating version, so this is a waking bait. You can fish it slow, and it just makes a nice wake, nice V wake across the surface, or you can actually speed it up, and it'll go down a couple feet. You get a lot more erratic action out of it. As always with Gancraft, super sticky, sharp Japanese you know, owner hooks on there. Uh, one of the cool features I did like about this bait is the bill is replaceable. So if you have an accident, throw it up, hit a rock or something like that, crack the bill, um, you're not losing the entire bait. You just get a, new, get a new bill in there and you replace it and you're back in action. So I mean, great value in that since a lot of, you know, some of the baits you don't have that option. So if you do break the bill, you pretty much ruin the whole bait. So great new little feature there from Gancraft. All right, next up from Jinko, we got their CD series of crankbaits. Now this one here is a CD20 and this big ones are CD25s, which they go their respective depths to 20, 25 feet. These are the big deep diving crankbaits you guys want for the ledge fishing and stuff out there in the east. And these baits, they have a little bit unique shape to them. They have a little bit flatter sides and because of the flatter sides and the bill shape, they dive quickly, but they have a lot less resistance than a normal deep diving crankbait. We all know how much you know those things can torque when you're making you know 150 foot cast and you're dredging these things down 25, 30 feet. Uh, these things are going to reduce a lot of that torque and make them nice, easy to fish all day. So, new deep diving crankbaits from Jinko you should take a look at. All right, a new one we got up from B&M is their new high tail shad. And as you can see, the first thing you notice on this bait is that the tail is actually upside down versus mo how most swim baits are made. Now, what that does is it reduces a lot of the lift that you get out of swim baits. If you start reeling them too fast, they tend to come up to the surface. This is actually going to make it uh, make the bait maintain its depth a lot easier, so it's going to stay down. Not going to make it dive like a crankbait, something like that. But you can throw it out, you know, let it sink. It's going to hold its depth for the majority of the cast. So nice little innovation there. Also, super thin body profile. So I mean, you can slip, you can throw this thing through a lot of cover. It's going to get through nicely. Also has split belly design, but also has a solid head. So I mean, you can rig it on a jig head. Or you can rig it with a, you know, with a Texas rig hook, a screw lock swim bait hook, however you'd like. So great new little swim bait by Avena. All right, next up from Raid, we got the new Raid Battle Hog. And you see it's a craw creature bait. I mean, there's so many little details on this bait you don't see it in a lot of other craw creature baits. Now Raid's a Japanese company, and you just see all the detail they put into this thing. I mean, just all the little pinchers they have on the claws here. The claws actually have a triangular shaped design and a rib section in the inside. So what that does is it gives your claws the ability to move not just up and down, but also side to side, which most baits, they only do one type of action. This, you know, these claws are going to move up, down, side to side. You know, tremendous amount of action makes it real lifelike. Also different size legs on the side, so you get different action out of all the different sizes. So, I mean, great realistic craw bait from Raid. Check this out. All right, next up from Strike King, we got their new KVD Poppin' Perch. We've been waiting for this thing to come in for a while. Um, awesome little hollow belly design. Built around a 4 aught hook on there. You know, Poppin' Perch, so it has a poppin' mouth on it. But so many details on this thing. I mean, it has the side fins on it. Um, it has the eyes on both sides with the gills and the fins and awesome paint jobs. As you can see, a much different style skirt than most of the other, you know, like frog baits that are out there that just have the two legs on there. Um, you can do everything with this frog, and also it has the ability to be fished really fast. That was one of the key things they were trying to get out of this thing. So you can pop it really fast, it walks, it chugs, it does just about everything. But also can be fished at high speed, so nice new product, uh, pop and perch from striking. All right, up from Outcast Tackle, this is the Troy Moro's 401 Craw Wobblehead. If you're already familiar with Outcast, they already have this tail design on, on a shaky head, but now they've they've put it into a wobble head design, which is great. Um, this head looks just like a craw tail, 
has little ribs in here. I mean, uh, when you meet this thing up with any kind of craw creature bait, they look amazing. What's great about these is they ha it comes with a quick, quick attach clip on there, so you can attach any kind of hook you want. Um, you know, if you're trying to do something finesse, you want to go light wire, you want a big flipping hook on there, any size, you know, one knot to seven knot, whatever you guys want. You put anything you want, any kind of hook you want on there to match any kind of bait. So it's nice you don't have to have a bunch of different kind of you know wobble heads around. You just buy a pack of these and have your different hooks ready to go. So it allows you to be more versatile. You can actually just switch them out on the go and don't have to retie. So if you want to change out baits a little bit more quickly. And with this, the way this head's designed, it has that nice flat line tie on there. It's gonna make this thing dig and kick up, kick up dirt and sand and stuff, just like how a crawdad does. And it actually is gonna deflect a little bit, kind of like a kind of like a square bill would. So I mean, just great new little design, the wobble heads right there by Outcast Tackle. All right, next up, this is the 2015 new product winner at iCast. This is from Release Ruler. Now this is a hard but flexible PVC ruler that has all this data on here that's actually an average of a fish's weight based on their length measurements. So if you don't have a scale or you just don't have room to carry a scale, you're shore fishing, you're on like a float tube or a kayak or anything like that, you just want to carry something small and lightweight, this thing is great. You can measure your fish and you get a pretty close estimate of how much the fish weighs. Super lightweight, also the end here, you can fold it up and make it, you know, make it a nose board so you get a little bit more accurate way to measure your fish. Uh, they also make this in a decal version, so they have a big sticker so you can slap it on a cooler, it's on your boat, whatever you like, and you're always going to have it with you. This thing also features UV protection, so your colors and numbers aren't going to fade off over time. So with the UV protection, it's going to last forever. So great little investment for you guys, you know, if you're, you don't have room for a scale on the boat or uh, in your kayak or wherever you'd like, uh, check out this new release ruler from Release Ruler Fishing. All right, next up we got the T-Series Real Grip Handles. So, Real Grips, you know, everyone knows we have, we have them for casting and spinning, but now they've made one that's specifically made for the T-shaped spinning reel handles. Now they have them in this nubbed version or they have the ribbed ones, whatever, whatever one you prefer, but uh, a lot of guys like to put Real Grips on. I do if I'm out on my float tube or kayak because I'm usually wet most of the time and it helps, you know, grab on quickly and prevent slippage and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, but now we got them specifically made for those T-shaped spinning reel handles. So another new product from Real Grips, check those out. For more detailed information on all the products seen here today, please click the link or the images below. And if you have everything that's new at Tackle Warehouse this week, please click the link in the description. And be sure to check back with us next week for more What's New TW. Thank you. Uh, is the Speed Glide 100 perfect shad style? Comes with you know feathered treble on it, EWG style treble in the front. Uh, this is a cool new product that I really like. It's our new high tail shad. Tail is actually turned upright, more towards the it surface. It actually has a flat skirt, and what that and what that allows, it just that's what makes that bait walk so easy.